Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're gonna show you how you can change your best friend into an avatar. You're gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This is where we're finding PE 10 and PE 11. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter and Distort and Liquify. Okay, the Liquify filter is got his own set of tools. Let's go over and grab the first tool on the very top of the toolbar. This is the Warp tool. And we're going to adjust the brush size, pretty good size brush, like 229. Now I'm going to left click, hold, drag, and release. Left click, hold, drag, and release. And I'm widening her nose to make it look like an avatar's nose. We're going to do the same thing on the left side now. And that looks pretty good, but it definitely still has to go wider. So let's uh, go ahead and pull it out some more. It's like silly putty. I love it. And we're going to go ahead and pull it out some more. Alright. Now let's see how this looks. Pretty good. But, you see with an avatar, the nose actually gets wider as it goes up towards the bridge of the nose or near the eye. So we're going to widen it up just a little bit more near the top here. Perfect! I love it! All right, now, we again, we were using the Warp tool, but now we're going to come down the Liquify Filters toolbar and select the Bloat tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge the eyes now. And I'm just going to left-click and release. So here we go. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11. So I'm going to do 11 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to make them exactly the same size. I'm going to do three more now here. One, two, three. I'm going to do three more on this side. One, two, three. Okay, I don't press it and hold it because then you won't be able to keep them the same size. So now I'm just going to click OK and we're back into Photoshop Elements out of the Liquify filter. She looks beautiful! I'm in love! Alright, there's a before and after. And before and after. So far, so good. But now we're going to get into really good stuff. So let's come over here and grab the Selection Brush Tool. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is i got to get a good size brush, like 527. I'm just going to select everything in the image except her eyes. Okay, now I'm going to bring this down, make it a little smaller, and so I can get a little bit closer to her eyes. Alright, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to come down here and uh, blow that up a little bit, zoom in, and bring this down even further now to 71 so I can get in all the way really good on the eye. Now this is in fast motion, so you do want to take your time. This isn't hard at all. Just going to move your mouse slow and get in really close to the eye. See, I'm going about, uh, if you look at the bottom there, I'm going about halfway into the lip of the eye. looks good. So now I'm going to come over to the right eye and going to do the same thing. Okay. So now we're going to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, and Adjust Hue and Saturation. And now, look, we got to click on Colorize or the colors really are gonna, aren't going to work. So, uh, of course, I'm going to go for a very, like a light blue. And to make this look really good like an avatar blue, I'm going to come down to saturation and turn it up a little bit. And then the lightness, I'm going to bring that down. And you can copy my numbers there. 220, 36, negative 7. And I'm going to click OK. Wow! I love it! 
but we're not done yet. So let's go ahead and select the selection brush tool again. And this time, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to select her lips. I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. Now I'm going to get a smaller brush so I can get in the corners of the lips. Alright, now we're going to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, Adjust Hue and Saturation. And I just clicked on Colorize and the hue smacked all the way over the left, which is the default. And that, that color is fine for the lipstick. I'm good with that. So I'm just going to click on OK. And right now... What we're going to do is uh, now I've just got the uh, selection brush tool and I'm just going to select the uh, right part of the eye. Now I don't want to get the whites, but I want to get uh, right around here. Now we're just going to go ahead and do the other eye. Now to create another selection, Mac users, you can hold down the FN key, which is the key at the lower left hand of the keyboard. PC users, you might have to do one eye at a time. That looks good. Now we're going to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, and Adjust Hue and Saturation. Now, again, I'm going to put this in, in between the eyes so you can see what's going on, but I'm going to click on Colorize. And now I want to kind of get like a yellow-orange color. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to bring up the saturation. Perfect! Now I clicked on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring that back down to 44%. And here's where we are right now. Alright, now we're going to grab the burn tool. And I'm just doing all of this freehand. And again, this is actually in fast forward. I did take my time when I was doing these drawings. Now I'll write some on the face there. I love it! Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in around the nose here and... Uh, just going to draw uh, a little red at the bottom of the nose, like an avatar has. Again, this isn't fast motion. Alright, now we're going to enhance, adjust color, and adjust use saturation. And I'm just going to click on colorize, so it's the same color lips. Click on OK. Okay, I probably could have selected a little bit smaller selection, but that's OK. I'm going to keep it. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and create a, another layer. And we're going to select the brush tool. Now if you don't have black and white down here, click on that button. If you don't have white on top, click on the curve out. Got to have white on top for this one. Now that's too big, so I just hit undo. That's still too big. I hit undo again. Just made my brush smaller. That looks good. Now this again is in fast forward.
Now we're gonna go to the layers panel and I'm gonna bring the opacity down probably like to 50%. I might even go down to like 40 or 50%. You can adjust whatever looks good to you. Much better. Yeah, I'm drawing some more dots in. Someone who knows. Again, this is all freehand. I love it. All right, now we're going to Filter, distort, and liquefy one more time because I'm gonna just got the uh, warp tool. We're gonna work on the ears. So I just did the right ear. Now I'm over here on the left ear. Here goes the left ear. Okay, I just clicked on OK. And there you go. Before and after. And before and after thank you so much for watching do me a favor and leave a comment i love you guys from info puppet